Mr. Smythe, I'm from the Union. Everything's okay. I can pay. Sorry, that's not my department. My job is simple. Can't pay for your car. The bank takes it back. Can't pay for your house. The bank takes it back. Can't pay for your liver. Well, that's where I come in. How's it going, everybody? Welcome to The Daily Review, episode number 307. Uh, the film I'm going to be reviewing for you guys today is Repo Men. Uh, this film is directed by Miguel Sapochnik. I'm probably mispronouncing that terribly, but I don't really care. Uh, and it stars Jude Law and Forrest Whitaker. And Repo Men is set in the future, in a, in a probably a distant future, uh, where Jude Law and Forrest Whitaker play, you guessed it, Repo Men. And uh, they're not repossessing cars or houses or anything like that. They're repos repossessing your bodily organs. And uh, basically there's this place called the Union in the future that manufactures the, uh, these artificial hearts, lungs, livers, anything you can think of, kidneys, even body parts, eyes and things like that. And they place them inside of people. And what they do is they have them sign a contract. It's going to cost $600,000, but you can make payments with a 19.8% APR. And... Uh, Obviously, these people cannot pay $600,000 for all this stuff, so they fall behind on their payments, and when they do, Jude Law and Forrest Whitaker are there to rip out their heart and rip out their liver and take it back to the Union uh, by any means necessary, basically killing these people. Uh, and what ends up happening is Jude Law, through one way or another, gets electrocuted on the job, uh, and he becomes the owner of a new heart module, and he wants it out of him because he knows he can't pay it, he starts falling behind on his payments, and uh, the union comes after him, and he tries to kind of rise up and get his name out of the system. Um, Repo Men, I think, watching the film, the best thing about it is the first five minutes. Uh, I remember from taking screenwriting classes that the professor always said, you need to grab them with your first five to ten pages, or else people aren't going to read your stuff. And if I had read the first five pages of Repo Men, I would be like, this is very interesting. This has a cool premise. I, I think the idea is very solid. Uh, the way it's introduced through Jude Law's voiceover and all that sort of stuff seems very cool and kind of a, a cool vibe going on. But that's the best thing that it has going for it. Repo Men really devolves into borrowing from every science fiction uh, action movie that you've seen before. I mean, the Blade Runner references are, are numerous. The, the town looks just like Blade Runner practically. Um, there's a scene towards the end in a fight scene in a hallway where they're clearly ripping off Old Boy. And I don't even want to say homage. I want to say they're ripping off Old Boy and having Jude Law fight all these guys. Because he even takes out a hammer at the end. And I was just like, ugh. Um, and, and it includes some of the most cringe inducing one liners that I've heard in a while where it's supposed to be funny, but there is nothing funny about them. Um, they, most of them don't really come to mind at the moment. One of them I know involving a guy dressed up in a lung outfit, he's kind of like advertising for uh, the union and he's outside smoking and, and there's a comment made about, wow, he's setting a good example, huh? But on shh not very funny. Uh, I, and I think Repo Man also suffers because it, it tries to balance this weird juggling act of, of being a, a dark comedy at times because there are some moments that are kind of funny in the film uh, to like a straight up action movie to like a dark thought provoking sci-fi film and and when it tries to do all of this stuff simultaneously it's it executes it very very poorly there is also an ending to this film which is just confounding almost as bad as the remember me ending I don't think it's quite as bad but uh, it, it's a twist and it, it doesn't make sense it doesn't work uh, I don't know why they put it in. I think they're trying to seem like the film is more clever than it actually is. Uh, but it's it's confounding, <laughs> is, is what it really is. Uh, I do not recommend Repo Men in the slightest, not even for a rental or anything like that. I think it's best if you just skip it entirely. Uh, I'm all for a fun fun action movie. I mean, I, I kind of dug from Paris with Love, and, and I dig the crank films and that sort of stuff, but Repo Men, it's just... I think to me, Repo Men is to guys what movies like The Bounty Hunter are to girls. It's it's just that type of stuff, and you could walk out and be like, oh, that was cool, there's blood and guts and everything, but it's not a good movie. Uh, I give Repo Men a one and a half out of five. Anyway, thank you guys very much for watching. I'll be back tomorrow with another one for you.